feeling that the objects can actually act in different ways depending on the pedagogic context. Uh, everybody insists on the importance and, and, and was triggered, striking the, 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 the emotion delivered by object through virtuality, the fact that they can discover other things. That's specific to their, their particular particular learning needs. Uh, I, think, I think, as you pointed out, that the possibilities are actually very, very exciting in terms of enhancing learning in a whole way of new modalities which we haven't explored yet. Yep. What do you think? Would it be better to have uh, pre-selected uh, objects that you could um, have different faculties that they could... Given that we have such capacity to deliver those experiences and with the with these new technologies, increased opportunities to present those opportunities in different ways, in ways that are perhaps... Especially nowadays, we have to think about how we can open the, our activities and resources to the world. Talking about that in the space that you create, being the physical or the virtual space, that you create the possibility for encounters that are meaningful but unplanned, um, which is very difficult to plan. So I was very much curious how you plan serendipity. I think uh, the right kind of the well uh, serendipity happens only when we provide the sort of ingredients. So, so everything gets together at this moment for the chemical, and uh, but you know the people who are working on the chemical, not the sensei, they have a great problem to design you know, to to select the good choice or uh, you know. Uh, optimal uh, uh, design uh, strategy kind of thing. So still we have a tough <laughs> time. Yeah, so this, this is a kind of a I know, comment, sorry about it. I was working around I had the impression that I was in a university museum. 
Day one of the conference was, uh, was very good. Um, there were lots of interesting presentations and the presentations were, were very well structured. So each session had a theme and that enabled everyone to discuss issues at the end of the theme. Good morning, dear colleagues. Uh, could you slowly but surely find your seat? While care was taken in arranging the work, it was not to produce a contemplative space of the modernist singular art object. This kind of uh, indication, just part of the review of press, you know, indicate that now... In Poland, uh, no science museum of... So that Japan and Finland both have some type of issues about human culture. Human also is finance and so on. But we should have this ambition and... Quite difficult for us to keep such instruments. Okay, last opportunity, two conferences, very last session, last five minutes, anything you
feelings or impressions? Yeah, it, it was really interesting uh, to me to compare the university museums that we saw today to my own university museum in Kansas and see both similarities and differences in our collections and how they're displayed and different ways of thinking about our collections with you know, very nice, very different the university museums uh, from each other here in Tokyo, but uh, absolutely a very fascinating. A showing within the buildings, the museum buildings, that it's the Western early Westernization of Japan, and it's the the government or the culture is trying to show that uh, basically that idea of the Westernization and the modernization of Japan. So I think it was very much interesting to me more than the kind of uh, the artifacts in, this, in in the museum itself.